I was born in uh, Lodge Creek, Kentucky. It's close to Hazard. And uh, lived there most of my life. And my product line here is, uh, I call it bridges. Well, I cut out forks of a tree. And uh, here how it looks. That's what, uh, what animal I make out of it, or bird. I would call it a female abstract. I go and look for it. I four wheel through the mountains, you know, when I see, a, I'm always looking for a straight tree to cut down, or, uh, some of these branches to, these are hard to find. This deer's crooked, but I like to find them straight so I can work with it. I work downstairs away from everybody, and everybody uh, tries to keep away from me while I'm working. <laughs> I take spells and I'll make a bunch of them at a time. Yeah, I started on this one and, uh, about six months ago. But when I find these forks, uh, I have to trim them down, leave the bridges on, try and trim the other bark off of it. Then uh, I have to sit and let it dry for about six months before I can do anything with it. Yeah, I make uh, Indian arrows, uh, spears, and musical instruments. And, uh, also make canes out of snake skins. Well, I find a dead rattlesnake on the road here. Or something like that, I get it skin, a dry skin, and make a walking stick to it. Well, on the canes, I leave the hand for the part, and I have to skin the skin off of it. Off of the cane, and it has to dry out for three or four months. At one time, I put a face on every cane I made. Trademark, I guess well, uh, I had to make it in the shape of a hummingbird uh, out of a fork wood. And uh, at least I think it looks like a hummingbird. <laughs> a giraffe. I, I like the giraffe. Okay, well, it's unusual to find uh, that particular wood that way, you know. Well, I enjoy doing it. Uh, it's interesting to find out uh, when I start working on something what it's going to turn out to be. <laughs> Here are the crooked man with a crooked cane. <laughs>